the professional growth is important to grow in life, but sometimes it's difficult to achieve the growth through existing profile for reasons such as domain maturity, outdated technology, knowledge gap, lost working interest and so on. This result into situations, where as a CAD designer you found the growth is stagnant. As a production engineer you got fed up with manufacturing. As a traditional PLM engineer working on legacy PLM system, you are not able to find right opportunities to grow. Or as a fresher, you are still searching for the job. If you are facing one of the above challenge, and are looking for a solution to accelerate your career growth in the fastest growing technologies, you can make a career in Siemens TeamCenter PLM technology, the future PLM. TeamCenter PLM, being the most widely used PLM system in the world, with 100,000 plus customers, calls for the huge demand of PLM professionals across the globe. We made learning Siemens TeamCenter PLM easy and faster for you at Faith PLM. A Siemens authorized training partner and the most preferred PLM training provider in India. Before we deep dive into TeamCenter PLM, we need to understand what is product lifecycle management, also known as PLM. As shown in the picture here, PLM is a software which helps industries to make their product data safe and secure by centrally storing and managing it. PLM data involves design data, documents, text files, PDF, PPT, etc., created by different people, using different software, such as CAD, CAM, CAE, Microsoft Office and all other software. By that means, it makes sure that data is securely visible, traceable, reusable and flexible to changing needs throughout its lifecycle, such as design, validation, manufacture, assembly, test, sales and aftermarket. Our unique industry experience program and knowledge sharing methodology helps you digest each module at its depth with hands-on on live industry projects. So you become ready to solve real industry problems and thereby get ready for different PLM job opportunities. Your journey at Faith PLM starts with understanding what is PLM and how to manage data and make use of processes in PLM environment. How to configure PLM system to map business requirements. How to install and integrate PLM system with different software. Lastly, how to extend or customize the PLM system by writing codeful extensions. We are committed to transform you as a successful PLM professional. It is important for us to help you know what are all key topics you would be getting expertise on in each of the Team Center modules. So, your journey starts with TeamCenter Data and Process Management, where you will understand the usage of PLM system for day-to-day -day activities. Here, you will get expertise on PLM concept of data and process management. Functionalities offered by TeamCenter Rich and Active Workspace Client. Creating various data objects and their significance. Managing data and processes using Active Workspace Client. Managing data when TeamCenter client is integrated or embedded in CAD environment such as NX, Microsoft Office and so on. Using various functionalities in support of data security, document control and CAD data management. In TeamCenter configuration, you will understand the various features and usage of those along with best practices to mold the PLM system according to customer business requirements. Here, you will get expertise on TeamCenter 2-tier and 4-tier architecture. BMIDE interface and usage. Extending data models such as item data types, dataset types and tools, PS data types, form, LOVs, conditions and status. Persistent, runtime, compound, complex, relation properties. Defining organization, queries and reports, security model, project management, workflow process modeling. Preferences and Options Exporting and Importing CAD and Non-CAD Data Administrative Utility Business Data Extraction and Population An Active Workspace Client Administration In TeamCenter Server Customization, you will understand the various customization hooks and usage of those along with best practices to extend the server business logic to map the customer business requirements. Here, you will get expertise on different types of customization with common customization requirements. ITK Customization and Types 
Various extension points such as property, operation, handler, utilities, methods. Setting up a development environment. Usage of ITK API. Writing new ITKs and SOAS. Writing custom code for various industry business requirements. Logging and debugging. In TeamCenter Active Workspace Client Customization, you will understand the various customization hooks and usage of those, along with best practices to extend the business logic to map the customer business requirements. Here, you will get expertise on different types of customization hooks. Setting up a development environment, various scripts and their purposes. Using different tools for debugging the code. Specific customizations, such as location and sublocations to develop new applications in Active Workspace Client. Writing custom data providers, data provider updates, its events, data provider specific commands, and view models and so on. Registering different object icon, customizing their properties, stylesheet data providers. Designing and implementing new SOA and REST APIs. Making use of UI Builder to define new commands, panel, command action, command conditions, client and server visibility, and its placements. In TeamCenter rich client customization, you will understand the various customization hooks and usage of those, along with best practices to extend the business logic to map the various customer business requirements. Here, you will get expertise on setting up RAC customization environment. Common RAC customization requirements. Rich client plugins. Customizing submenu, custom menu, in context menu. Overriding commands. Data display customization using XML stylesheet. Property display customization. SOA based customization through VMIDE. Two tier, four tier deployment of custom code. In TeamCenter installation and integration, you will understand TeamCenter deployment using Deployment Center. Here, you will get expertise on different types of installation such as UI-based, Quick Deploy, Mass Deploy. Installation of TeamCenter Server, 2-tier, 4-tier and Active Workspace Client using Deployment Center. Installation of TeamCenter System on Cloud Environment. Installation of different team center components, such as license, database, corporate, docker, container, web server and so on. Integration of team center with CAD, CAM, CAE and MS Office. Now, you must be curious to know that, after becoming Siemens Team Center PLM professional, who will hire you and for what job? Let me tell you, service companies like TCS, HCL, Wipro, IBM and so on, will be keen to hire you, as well, product manufacturing companies like Bajaj, Mahindra, HAL and so on, will be keen to hire you for various roles, such as software developer, customization engineer, to develop or customize TeamCenter software, software tester to test the TeamCenter business use cases. Software Implementation Engineer, to implement the PLM software based on business requirements. Site Support Engineer, to support the end user's queries, and also perform site maintenance and administration. We can help you become Siemens Team Center Professional through best-in-class training available in online as well as classroom mode. This training will bring you several benefits, such as in-depth knowledge and hands-on on Team Center usage, installation, integration, configuration and customization, with clear understanding on solution development for complex industry business use cases. Thereby, write job opportunities with top MNCs across the globe. For more information and a demo on Team Center PLM training, visit our office at address given here, or call us at the numbers given here. Also, log on to our website www.faithplm.com or mail us on info at faithplm.com. We truly appreciate your time in watching this video.